So I am Tatiana Pilon and I'll be talking about Anna today. Thank you. So a little story. When growing up, animation was always part of my life. I used to spend a lot of time daydreaming about this make-believe world. And this is how my work is. It's a mix of these two worlds, the world of animation and the world of the make-believe. Well, this is one of our projects. Unfortunately, we don't have sound today, but last year I invited the user into a journey, a journey to explore Central Park through augmented reality and guided by a beloved animator character. So there's the character, and through augmented reality, we walk around the park trying to find this character and the holy grail of the park. Okay, but how, when growing up, I thought about animation, I would rarely see characters with features similar to mine. And when they have sim similar features, they will be associated with the face of villainy or used as a comic tool. And that's how Anna was born. I model Anna with, based on the features that I would know back in Brazil, her skin, her some skin tone and her per shaped body. And then what I did, I brought Anna into a virtual world. I created the world with water and invited the user to go to her world with her body. And that's how the virtual body happened. So when the user put the VR gear, his or her movements are translated into the avatar. So he experienced Anna's world with Anna's body. You can hear here, but there's, there's Brazilian song in the background. That's where this accent comes from. And it's, it was used as a call to action. So the user could not only enjoy the music, but move around the world and maybe clap a little bit. <laughs> okay. And through this, this project, I learned a lot about the user and how he, he or her experienced themselves in this virtual world. I recorded the user testing, but then I was like, well, what does these movements mean? And like how the user is experiencing himself in a new diverse body. And I had a couple findings that I'm gonna share with you today. Some of the users experience the experience as a game. By the way, how many of you noticed the water in the virtual environment? Please, please raise your hand. Great job. Yes, so as the swimmers, they realize that, oh, why not enjoy this virtual world and the physical world? And the other group was the fighters, so those in body like boxing and handgun gestures to this virtual world. Another group was the group that experienced the experience as an interactive installation. They're very eager to share the statics of this insight. Those are the QA testers. that are definitely trying to break the experience exploring the limits of their new body. The body explorers that were amazed by their virtual body and looking like a person different than their, their own body, and the break dancers that enjoyed the experience like nobody was watching and dancing all over the room. Well, with this experience, I learned a lot about the user and his diverse virtual representation. I wanted to create awareness about diversity and representation in animation. And as a result, I realized that maybe the features, the mixed racial Latina features of the character were too subtle that the user couldn't tell right away that this experience was about diversity. However, I will share the technical and social learnings of this experience in hopes so people can learn and express themselves in the virtual world like I did. Thank you so much and have a great time.